Green Chicken Chops is a symbol of Bengaluru's vibrant street food culture. It is available across restaurants throughout the city from upscale establishments to street vendors thus making it a convenient and an accessible option. It is a very easy recipe so let's dive into it. Step 1 is making the green masala paste. We will fry a few ingredients and then grind them into a smooth paste. Measurements are for around 1 kg of chicken. Take some oil in a pan and add some whole spices to it. Around 1 teaspoon cumin seeds, 1 star anise, half of a big cardamom, 1 mace or javitri. 5 cloves, 1 cinnamon stick, stone flour, 1 kapok bud or marathi muggu, 2 bay leaves, 1 teaspoon black peppercorns, 1 teaspoon fennel seeds. Roast them all on a very low flame. Now add 6 to 7 green chilies. You could increase the chilies as per your spice tolerance. 6 to 7 chilies is not going to be much spicy. You could adjust it as per your requirements. 1 inch piece of ginger. 8 to 10 cloves of garlic, 4 cardamoms, 1 large onion thinly sliced, around 1 tablespoon of poppy seeds or khaskhas, 8 to 10 curry leaves. Keep mixing them so that none of the spices get burned. Now I will add one whole bunch of coriander leaves, handful of mint leaves, handful of fenugreek leaves or methi. You could also add some palak if you have, and you could also add some dill leaves, also called uh, sabzige soppu in Kannada, and you could add whatever green leafies you have. Now fry them all for a few minutes. I have noticed that frying the spices and then grinding them enhances the flavors rather than just adding them directly to the blender. Now I will add one big tomato. Add some salt so that everything cooks faster, and then mix well. This is the only time-consuming task in the recipe, that is frying the ingredients. Once you do it, rest is just assembly and cooking process. Now I will add half a cup of freshly grated coconut and fry it for another minute or so, and then cool all of them and grind them into a fine paste. I somehow lost the clip of frying the coconut. Now step two and the final step is making the curry. Take a mixture of oil and ghee. I use coconut oil for all my recipes. You could use any oil that you prefer. Now add around one teaspoon of cumin seeds or jeera and one whole onion, finely chopped. Now we need to fry the onion till the onion starts to change color. When we see that the onion is turning brown, add the masala paste that we had prepared. Mix it nicely with the onions and the ghee. Add some water. Give it a nice mix. Add around two tablespoons of coriander powder. You could skip adding the powder here and could have added two to three tablespoons of whole coriander while frying the masalas as well. Add some salt. I'm adding half a teaspoon of jaggery powder here just to balance the flavors. You can totally skip it. Mix it well. Cover and cook for three to four minutes on a medium flame. Keep checking it occasionally. After three to four minutes, add the chicken pieces. I have taken around one kg of chicken here with the bone, which I had marinated in some salt and turmeric for thirty minutes. Mix it nicely with the gravy. Add water as per the consistency that you require. Do not make it too runny. It tastes better with a slightly thicker consistency. Check for salt and add more if required. Give it a nice mix. Cover and cook for fifteen minutes or till the chicken is completely cooked. Make sure you keep stirring it occasionally to prevent it from sticking to the bottom of the pan and then this green chicken chops or green chicken curry is ready to be indulged with delight. I frankly don't know why it is called chops as it is not just the leg pieces but the whole chicken with the bones that is used in this recipe in most of the restaurants. In fact, I have even used the chicken gizzard and the liver. Be rest assured that you will not get the individual flavors of fenugreek and the palak and dill leaves. It will all get merged and it tastes heavenly. You can have it with dosa, paratha, jeera rice, ghee rice, biryani, idli, plain rice, and the combinations are endless. So do try this recipe out and let me know in the comment section about your opinions. If you like the video, then subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon, and do like, comment, and share the video. Thank you.